Um, with the part of um, deconstructing the facade, is there a point where you just become incredibly exhausted in this process? No. Okay. Because everything you release causes less exhaustion. You're exhausted now because you're fighting the process. Everything is less exhausting. You feel more energetic, less exhausted. There are moments when you hit a certain thing that you feel the re resistance build up and as soon as the resistance build up, your exhaustion will build up again. It's the resistance to the process that causes your exhaustion. Does that make sense? And is it mainly the resistance to the terror that will... Um well, that obviously has a large effect on your exhaustion, the terror. So once that's gone, now the only thing that can make you exhausted is your resistance to your fears. That's the only thing that will make you exhausted after that. And how does how does the terror and the fear look different? So once you've released all that we'll talk terror, talk about that later. Okay, thank yep. you. Yep. Okay. Can I move forward? Because there's probably more to discuss, and then we can ask more questions about it. So everyone's all right up to that point. What's what's happened? Okay. Wonderful place to be. Many of you are totally frightened of that place because you're so sensitive. We're worried about being sensitive again, right? really worried about the fact that we're feeling our pain, other people's pain now, and most people in that place can't handle it very long because, they're still, because they still have terror about feeling pain. But, but once you get to this point, you've not got the terror about feeling pain anymore, so you can handle it. You can actually feel your own pain and other people's pain and not get really distressed about it. You know that it just needs to be felt, it needs to be released, you see. Very, very good process.